Today, Ellie is going to show you how to prepare the delicious date treats that she makes. Lately, I've been trying to think of some treats we can take away with us in Merlin that aren't too naughty, but just tasty little morsels that we can have. So not specifically to cook in Merlin, but just to take away when you fancy something a little bit sweet. And funny enough, I've posted them on Facebook, or rather Graham has, and there's been quite a lot of interest. So I thought I'd share the recipe with you as well. Um, and yeah, what do you think these are? <laughs> Don't be rude. They're actually, I'll put you out of your misery, they're actually stuffed dates. So they're the big medjool dates, they tend to be the best ones. Um, and I actually fill them with peanut butter in this case and then coat them with dark chocolate. So naughty and rather nice. So I'm going to show you now how I make them so that if you want to make them, you can. They're ever so easy, a little bit messy, but certainly worth the effort. And they're almost virtuous because there's nothing too naughty about them. Now, we have to confess, these wonderful little snacks were not prepared in Merlin, they were done at home. But, as so many people were interested in them, when we showed them on the Wizards Facebook group, we decided to add them to the Camp of Anne cooking series. And if you make these yourself, I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Over to you, Ellie. So, what am I doing today, you might ask? I am taking the innards out of medjool dates. So you see, you just cut them halfway through. You don't want to cut it all the way through. It's a bit like a burger bun. You want the you want this bit connected if possible. But it's not the end of the world if that doesn't happen. And I'm just doing a whole tray full of these because what we're doing today is we're going to make stuffed dates we've had quite a, pot, a lot of requests we've had quite a lot of requests for this recipe um, people seem to like the look of it so i thought it might be nice to share it with you and you can see i'm doing quite a lot and that's because graham likes them quite a lot but the good news is they are actually quite healthy as well um, when they're finished each date is about, I think, 170 calories, but they're very high in fibre and they don't have any added sugar. The only sweetness really comes from the date. Oh, and a little bit in the dark chocolate that I use, but I try to use 75 or 80 percent dark chocolate. So there they are. They've all had their pit or stone taken out. And now I'm going to fill them with peanut butter. So this is probably one of the fiddliest bits of making the dates, although they are very simple, just a little bit fiddly. So I usually put in about half a teaspoon of peanut butter and then I squidge it together. And that's made a lot easier because I haven't cut right through the date. And of course you get a nice little gap where the stone was. That's perfect for just filling up with the peanut butter. Stops it squidging out too much. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting dark chocolate in the microwave. You could do it over a bain-marie, which is basically a, a pot of steaming water. But I prefer to use the microwave because it's a lot easier. And I tend to do it in 30 second increments. So I will just start it. So the chocolate's all melted, as you can see, just how it needs to be. Mustn't let it boil. Have to do it, I do it in 30 second increments on the microwave. And when there's just a few little lumps left, then I will stir it to melt those rather than overcook it. So we better get stuck in with the dates. So I tend to dunk half in and coat the rest with a spoon. And then it's a matter of letting it drip so that you don't have too much mess. I do find these little fondue forks really useful as well, but you could use anything. 
If you can hear pitter pattering around in the background, by the way, it's Jazz. I think she's hoping that she'll get a date. But of course, doggies don't have dates or chocolate. Doesn't that look nice? It doesn't matter if they sit in a chocolate puddle. That's all the nicer so when you come to eat it, you get the chocolate puddle as well. is complete now. All I need to do is to pop these into the fridge for about half an hour and they will set and be ready to eat. I always think they look lovely like this because they're all shiny. And there they are. So as you can see these are uh, relatively easy to make so hopefully if you want to you now know how to do them. And uh, this one's been in the fridge for a little while. They're quite nice out of the fridge. They're not quite so sticky that way. So I'm going to take a little bite and show you what they look like inside. So excuse me a minute. Hmm. Of course, now I can't talk to you because I've got a mouthful of date with peanut and chocolate. <laughs> but um, thanks for watching. And I hope that that has answered your questions about how to make these little things. And um, I'm just going to go and have my cup of tea now and finish this. Right, I'm now going to try one. Mm. Oh, they're lovely. They are really, really lovely. You won't get many words out of him. He's too busy munching. But thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed this, to like, subscribe and comment. Feel free to share any little recipes you have for things that you like to take away in the van. That would be lovely. And we'll catch you next time. Can you hear that? He's licking his fingers now. I better go. Well, thanks very much for watching this, guys. If you have enjoyed it, do please let us know in the comments and then we can uh, get Ellie organised in doing some more recipes for you.